I think it means so much to me now that we're able to bring our kids because I remember in those early days starting out, you know, when John and I got married and we loved to, to fish and hunt and do everything together. And we kind of had said, you know, once we have a family, we're not gonna let that hold us back. We're gonna just keep on going. And that's exactly what we did. I mean, I have memories of our kids in car seats coming along in the fish house, in a pack and play in the boat. I mean, you just kind of adapt and make those things happen because you don't want it to stop. And that's exactly what, you know, our passion and our drive is for the outdoors. And it's such a big part of our lives that we've created it to be, you know, a lifestyle. And that's really what it is, is it's a lifestyle. It's not, you know, people call it a passion and, and this and that, and, and we are very passionate about it, but it really boils down to it's an actual lifestyle. So every year when it's early ice, we start to get really excited, you know, that everything start, starts freezing up and we get excited to get out there. And so every year now we've been bringing our kids and again, getting them engaged and excited. And so I feel like just every year now, it's a, it's a window into our lifestyle. And now that we've been bringing our kids every year, we know that they're going to continue that tradition along now that it's a passion of their own. And so that that awesome experience that they experience every year will be passed on through generations to come. You know, being devoted to something means giving everything, everything that you have. And we give that to our family, we give that to the things that we, that we love to do. I mean, it's gonna be an adventure every single day that we carry out into the outdoors or on the lake, on the ice. Each and everything that we do, we have that, that devotion. We can't thank the man above enough for what he's given us here and all these cool, awesome experiences that we have. That's, that's the true blessing that we really have in this whole thing. This is what this you is come why for. We're here. That is, <laughs> Lake Lewood and muskies are so pretty. They get that green phase to them. That is probably the biggest pike I've ever seen, man. Okay, go up. Go up. See you later, girl. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Got him? Get ready. She's coming in hot. Yep. Coming in fast. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Nice one. Do it. Nice one, babe. That's her. I'm pretty oh my sure. God. There you it's go. On. Got him. Good job, B. No, he's there. I think, he's I think it's perch. It might be a little perch. Either that or a little bluegills. The big ones will be coming through. Let's see, what do we got? What's the first fish of the day? Bluegill. Oh, little baby bluegill. <laughs> nice, Braylon. Nice, Braylon. Well, we just got set up out here. We got the hub house set up, and uh, we're with the girls today. It's uh, early season, so it's always fun to get the kids out on the ice for the first time. And as you can see, we already have a couple couple on the ice. John and I have just been busy getting things set up for the kids and Braylon's already slaying, aren't you B? Yeah. You're already catching, catching fish. Yep. Brinley's just warming up in here. It's nice to be able to have a house when you have kids with you so they can get nice and toasty warm after you're done walking out. So 
we uh, have our holes drilled. We got some, some holes all around too. So John and I are gonna be hopping around, uh, trying to locate some fish for the kids as well. And so they'll probably kind of stick it out in the house for a bit and then we'll probably venture out in the ice. It's yeah. uh, cold this morning, but it's gonna get a little bit warmer today. So that's kind of our plan. We wanna get a, a good meal for the day. You guys want some a fish fry? Should we have a fish fry tonight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to try to get some fish for a fish fry and then later on we're going to venture out into another one of our uh, favorite lakes see if we can't get uh, some into some of the bigger gills and crappies as yeah. well so it's going to be a good day on the ice we got all day we got the kids with us it's going to be fun huh? What do you guys think you guys excited you ready for a fun day on the ice <laughs> Heck yeah awesome we're back ice fishing again i know yeah this episode of devoted is our first episode um, that you guys are going to be seeing so it's just it's crazy like it's all a big life story that's coming together for us and our family. And this episode right here represents exactly what we're all about and what we're aiming to do is we're aiming to help everybody out there understand how fun it can really be to get the whole family involved. And you know, like going out on the ice is something that we look forward to every year as a family. I mean, the kids are just begging us to take them when as soon as that snow starts falling and the ice starts freezing, you know, it's, it's what we look forward to. It's what we do every year. And, you know, it's not just ice fishing, it's everything as the seasons change. We have our specific things that we like to do during those years and the kids have been doing them and now they're getting so excited and so thrilled to be able to do that stuff with us now that they're getting older. And for Ashley and I to be able to watch them grow into that is exactly, exactly what we want for our family and it's just been so much fun over the years instilling that into them and watching them grow themselves into that it's just really really cool to see well i just found a hole here with some uh good marks in it just pulled up an eater crappie so our goal today is a fish fry so so hopefully there'll be a few more i have a few more marks down here oh here's one's coming right one's coming right now in fact Oh, <laughs> that's too exciting. Oh, there's a good one. You got one? Feels like an eater. Oh yeah, perfect eater gill right there. It's a nice one, nice little eater. I got one too. You got another one too? Yep. Ooh, yours looks good, babe. Like Ashley said, our goal today is we are going to spend the morning out here. Look at Braylon. We're gonna spend the morning out here chasing these kind of fish right here. Um, we're gonna have a good fish fry tonight, and then uh, this afternoon we're gonna go chase some of the giants out on our out on our fish. What do you think about that? Okay. Yeah, it's a little chilly out here this morning. It's nice and brisk out here this morning. I'm telling you, it's uh, man, it's it's not warm by any means. So we got the house set up for the kiddos, and you guys are catching a bee heck in there, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Let me go bring that one in there. Yeah, you want to? You want to bring it inside? Perfect. There you go. Perfect. Braylon, I got one too. You Mommy's can got in. one too, so. <laughs> and that's why you have kids right there, little fish caddies. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Something we re really like to do when we're out with our kids during the day is uh, using plastics. Uh, a lot of times, you know, when, when kids are fishing and they're in introduction to fishing and they're they're catching fish, possibly missing fish, and using live bait. A lot of times you'll go through a lot of live bait fast during the day. Um, so if you use plastics, that gives you an option for your kids to continue catching fish all day long. Comes, you don't have to line. worry about rebaiting okay, and, and checking their lines all the time. So it's a really easy way to do that. And uh, that's what we like to do when we're out on the ice. Here you go, Braylon. It's a good one. Here, get him. It's a big crappie. Got him? Yeah. Okay. I think it's a good one. Oh, careful, careful. Scoop back a little bit, scoop back. Oh, this could be a big one. Careful, scoop it. Oh, yeah, Braylon. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Here. There's a bunch of them down there. Look at that, Braylon. Look at that crappie, Braylon. You want to hold them? That's what we're looking for right there, man. That's that's awesome. Nice one, Braylon. 
Yeah, that's a, that's a perfect eating crappie right there. Perfect 11, 12 incher. Nice job. You want to go show mom? Yeah, go show mom. <laughs> so much fun getting the kids out here like that. It's that right there is what it's all about is seeing that excitement. And you know, it's the kids are getting old enough now to where they can do this stuff themselves. Today is a little bit different. It's freezing cold out. It's like one degree out with a 10 mile an hour wind. So we're helping them out a little bit, but keeping it fun and keeping it interactive like that and coming out to a lake like this that's got so many fish. I mean, the kids have already caught probably, I don't know, 20 fish a piece. So super important to keep that in mind when you're getting them started. I mean, you've seen the excitement on her face and you know what? It, was, it wasn't the biggest crop in the world, but you sit there and you make it seem like that and that's what gets those kids so excited. So what do you think, Braylon? Good. Was that awesome or what? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be a good eater, huh? Yeah. All right, should we get back down there? There's a few more down there. You want to catch another one? You know, we talk about panfish being one of a kid's first experiences out in the outdoors. And for me now, that means the world to me because I was there when Braylon and Brinley were that age. I was that age and so was Ashley. And now for us to have our two girls to be at the stage in life that they are, they're just like little sponges. They just soak it all in. And for us to be able to teach them in the form of pan fishing like that, it just it's, makes it so easy because we have so much of a passion for it that it's it's almost like it's it just comes full circle. And now we're able to share that with them and show them, you know, the ways of, of basically our life. And it makes it so simple because it's so much fun for them. And it's just a blast to watch them soak it all in. Okay, you go warm up, all right? All right, you go warm up and come back out. <laughs> oh, I love it. Gotta love it. You know, back when Ash and I first started fishing together and stuff, it was just, you know, all about us and and all that. And it's just, it's it, that was fun time in our life. And now we had kids. And, you know, a lot of people think that it's almost impossible to come out and do this stuff with kids and stuff, you know, and it's, it's really not. It's, yes, it's a lot more work, but at the end of the day, it's so much more worth it. And... You just gotta plan for it. You gotta have everything planned out. You gotta have everything ready to go so that it's not so much work. You know, if you get it all, all that stuff taken care of in advance, it makes it so much easier. And then pretty soon you get the hang of it. And you know what? It's really not that hard. So get out there, do this stuff with your kids. Get, I mean, you see how excited they are. You know, that, that didn't just happen overnight. You know, it took t time and time again to get them out here and get them on fish like this and get them excited and get them involved in the outdoors and make it feel like they're doing it themselves. So um, it's super rewarding. There's nothing more fun than watching my family come out here and you know gather some fish for an awesome fish fry and have fun doing it. So Some of my favorite memories growing up are, are getting out there, whether it be on the ice, on the water. I, my, my dad lived on a river, river fishing. I mean, some of my favorite memories all get drawn back to fishing. And those are some special times that I spent with my family um, and different members of my family. And so just how much you can learn when you're out there fishing, you know, patience, determination, um, excitement. And I think there's just so many different things to be learned when you're fishing. So it's just, Amazing now that we have a family of our own, that we can take our own kids out there and know that we're creating those same memories for them uh, that we had when we were a kid. Awesome. Look at the size of that one, Brittany. Brittany? Yeah. Is he on there? Oh! What do you guys think? You guys want to go catch some big ones? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. I think we got enough for a meal now. We should be good. We'll go catch some big old, big old pie plates, huh? You ready to rock and roll? 
Well, we just got out here. We got set up. This is lake number two. So we caught enough for a fish fry this morning and we brought the girls out to a, a lake that's one of our favorites where we catch a lot of big ones. So we want to get the girls, now that they have had a lot of practice earlier today, we want to get them on some big ones. So they're all set up and ready to rock. Ready? Here, Brinley. Get them. Get them, Brinley. Get them. Good one, Brindley, good one. What is it? Oh, it's a nice crappie, Brindley. Look at that crappie. Good job, Grab him. It's on. Braylon, you got one too? Nice, Braylon. It looks not small. Oh my gosh, Braylon. Oh my gosh, Braylon. 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 Oh my oh gosh. gosh. Look at the scale. Come here, Brindley. <laughs> Look at this. Look double. at that thing. Oh my gosh, Braylon. That is got a him. giant, honey. Oh, Brindley, look at you. got a crappie. Braylon got a big gill here. Is that fine? There you go. Why don't you guys show it? Show it. Show off your face. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's awesome. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> that was a huge one. Yeah. We just got out here just a little bit ago. We got all set up and the fish are already biting. It's crazy. The big ones are biting. So we got our meal earlier today. Yeah. Now what do you think? Good. Good. You think we're going to catch a bunch of big ones tonight? Yeah. I think so too. So it's really fun. Get those kids on a bunch of fish that we can eat. And then we come out here and we catch a bunch of big ones. And guess what the best part is about out here? We can let them go. Yeah, and then we get to go home and have a really tasty fish fry. What do you think? Yeah, and then All right. the, the little ones that we caught, like yep. the perch and the tiny bluegrass and crappies, then next year we get to catch them. Um, in a few years, they're going to be really big. Yeah. And then they're going to be bigger. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. All right, well, we're going to get after it because they're biting. If you've ever taken kids out on the ice, you know how important it is to keep them well fed and warm. <laughs> Uh, we have the, the ice armor eye suits for our kids. Um, it's super nice because they're adjustable. So in the straps are adjustable, down around the boot line is adjustable as well. So we know that it's gonna grow with them. And the best of all is it keeps them super warm. Yeah, it's super important when you're going out on the ice to make sure that you got that stuff planned out for the kids because the last thing you wanna do is bring them out there and you know, have them be unhappy. Mm -hmm. So. You know, yep. getting them out here at this age is really important to make sure that you're, you know, keying in on those on those topics. You know, like you said, keeping them fed, bringing a good thing, a good bag of snacks with, yep. making sure that they're dressed warm, and making sure that you're keeping them on a really good, uh, steady bite. It doesn't have to be anything huge. Obviously, we're fortunate to have this lake here, which is really consistent and big fish, but. It doesn't really matter. The main thing is making sure that they stay on a good bite and keeping them involved all day long, having fun with them, you know, mm -hmm. just That's keeping it light and game. fun. Just so, letting them have fun out yeah. there so they have really good experiences so that it, it increases that, uh, that fun and that yeah. um, excitement for, yeah. for years to come. Watch like this. See, then you just keep going up with it. Okay? There you go. Yep, yep, And then yep. you gotta make sure you're real fast. Go. Good job, bees. Good job, bees. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice one. Nice yeah. one, Braylon. Okay, here, so let's get back down there and you I get them this time, okay? Okay, here we go. Okay, here. Look at that nice one. Look Brindley, you want to reel it? If mom gets this one, do you want to reel it up? <laughs> let's get down there. Here. Okay. Here, let me help you. Let's try to get, let's get, get this to go. down quick because there's a bunch of them down there waiting for you. Here you go. Okay, you get them this time, okay? When you set the hook, though, remember this time you got to keep reeling fast, okay? Go down a little bit. Okay, wiggle it. Go up, go up, go up slow. Go up, go up, go up, go up. There, Brent, there. <laughs> that a girl. It's a big you one. Friendly? Why don't you come oh, over here? Oh, this is honey? a giant. <laughs> I got some. Nice, Braylon. Yeah. Good, B. <laughs> okay, Brindley, here. Mom's got one coming up. You got up. one coming up, Mom? Yep. Look at that, Braylon. That's a nice one, huh? Yeah. All right, go get another one. Go ahead. Get another one. There you go. You got that down. Oh, there's one. Okay, there's one, Braylon. Here's one. 
Yep, oh, really go, go up, go up, really go up, go up. Is he on? He's on. Yeah. Good job, Brinley. Nice, Brinley. Nice hook yeah. set, kiddo. Good job, Brinley. That a girl. Oh, he's fighting. Oh. Holy buckets, Brinley. Brinley Grace. Oh, oh my gosh, Brinley. Oh, Brinley Grace. Look at that. Brinley, look at that fish. Oh my Brindley. gosh, Brinley. Brinley. Look at that. Brinley, look at that bluegill. Honey, this is insane. Oh my gosh. Look at your fish. <laughs> that fish is huge. Brinley Grace. <gasps> Brinley, look at that bluegill. Brinley, look at that thing. That thing's massive, babe. Look at that fish. That's unreal. <laughs> wow. You Brinley, got you got that one down there too? Yourself. Okay, go up a little bit, Brad. Can you measure it? Here it comes. <laughs> sure. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. You want to hold it? Okay, go up a little yeah. bit. Okay. Wait, no, 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 I don't want to. You want mom to hold you it? You want to see how big it is? Wow. <laughs> Tell them what you did. Um, I was Tell taking him. it um, slow and fast, and then it came up fast, and then um, and then um, it hit my um, it hit my lure. <laughs> nice. So slow and fast, and it hit her lure. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That's Where awesome, go, Brittany. Brittany. That's How such you? a big fish, Brittany. Wow. Oof. That's awesome. <laughs> so much fun getting out here with the kids and. Letting them have their turn and catch fish on their own. How exciting, huh? Yeah? <laughs> Pretty awesome. Wow. That's a true giant. So Devoted Outdoors is something that Ashley and I wanted to do for a long time. It's really cool because we both grew up in the outdoors setting and we both have that lifestyle. Um. Um, King's doing nothing, and I set the hook, and he was on it. Nice, perfect. Sweet. That's what you want, right? Growing up, you know, as as a kid, and seeing where my grandpa and my um, my grandparents came from, to where we are now, like that stuff was part of me back then, even before I was even on this earth. So, for us, it's just it's living that lifestyle every day and having those memories that we have and sharing that with the kids and now teaching them how to do that. That's what's really important about us and devoted. The word devoted, you know, means giving everything that you have to something. And we weren't gonna let, you know, just having a family hold us back from any of those those amazing memories that we knew and those adventures we wanted to make. So it's just funny to see those memories of them really, really little to now. And now they're out there and they're doing everything on their own. And it's just the most amazing transformation to see them from when they were little, when we were excited to bring them, and now they're excited to do it all on their own. Oh, I see him, he looks big. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Good one. Good one. Really, you got Ooh. one down there? You got two of them down there? Huh? Get him. Good job. Nice. Good. Nice fish, Brindley. Good job, babe. Well, it's earlier in the season, so we've been uh, fishing in about 10 to 12 feet of water or so. Um, there's a lot of vegetation left, a lot of oxygen in the water, so it's holding a lot of fish. So um, that's kind of where, where we've been finding most of our fish right now and before they start moving out into that structure. So it's a good spot to go early season and catch a lot of fish. Daddy's gonna catch a big one. Oh yeah, <laughs> daddy's hooked up. Here, you guys catch one over there. Oh, nice big crappie, guys. Look at that crappie. Oh, they are. There you go, Brinley. Go up and set it, Brinley. Got him. Brinley's got one, too. Brinley, go, go, go. Get the transducer. Get the transducer. Get the transducer. All chaos is breaking loose. Oh, boy. Oh, another good crappie. There you go, babe. Woo. Wow. Good one. Doing the crappie flop. <laughs> we got fish Come flopping here. everywhere. Come here. Good one. There's fish flopping everywhere. <laughs> oh my God. Got a nice school of crappies come yeah. through, huh? Look at that nice crappie. Look at that. Here, Braylon, you want to catch Remember this one? Hold them? Yeah. Wait, here comes Grab another one. The... You ready, Braylon? Right in there. This right one will be lip. yours. I got three Look at he's, he's smiling at you. You grab him with your lip. Here. There you go. We got another one coming. Nice one. Oh, we got two of them coming. Two of them? You ready, Brad? Holy moly. Oh, we, got, oh, we got fish oh everywhere. Oh my gosh, Woo. look at this. We got fish all Look at over. that one. Look at that nice crappie. 
And look at that big bluegill. Hold that big bluegill up. Hold that bad boy up. Here you go, Brindley. Got another Brindley's one. Brindley's got another one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, you got a... Oh, off. shoot. That's all right. I have another one down there. Okay. Should we get him? I'm going to let this crappie okay. go. It's prime time. They're biting. Holy Let's go. Holy cows. Show that big bluegill off, Braylon. Show that big thing off. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. There's fish oh. everywhere, you guys. Oh, that one's going to crush it. There yep. it is. Yep. Get him, Brindley. Brindley's got another go, go, one. Go. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is crazy. This is nuts. There's fish oh, everywhere. Sorry, honey. Is it on the transducer? Mom, Sorry, baby. Mom, I know, I'm trying to fix it. Just keep. There's fish on. all over no, the no, place. No, he's good. He's still on there. Yeah, ah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just he's keep a reeling feisty reeling. one. You're good. Keep going. Oh, Brindley, look oh at that one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, you guys. We can't ask for any more than that. Look at this. Goodness. Grab your gill. I mean, look at this, you guys. That, seriously, that is a world class gill, yeah, you know, a beautiful crappie, crappie, another giant gill. All right, look at this. Good way to end the day. That's a good yeah, way to end the day. Eye. Holy moly. What do you guys think? Look at that. Look at that gill, Brindley. Wow. <laughs> unreal. Now that is a good family fishing day on the What an unreal day of fishing, huh, guys? Holy cow! Did you girls have fun? Yeah. Was that yeah. fun or what? <laughs> Are you guys hungry? Yeah. I know I'm hungry. I'm ready to go eat some fish. Yeah. Instead that's... of just holding them. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part is we got a fish fry yeah, to look forward to tonight. Mm -hmm. so. There's nothing better than having a fun day on the ice with the family. That's right. Getting the kids out there and crushing on fish. So much fun. <laughs> I love you guys. Love you too. Oh, that was awesome. fun. Good it was job, awesome. Girls. Wow, you guys are rock stars. All right. <laughs> let's get these fish back and let's go eat some supper. Woo! <laughs> Awesome. It means the world to, to John and me and to all of us just to be able to make these memories as a family and just to continue on all these adventures that we've always done and the adventures that we want to do, right? we got a lot of lots of fun stuff of coming fun up. things we want to do and, and so it's just amazing to be able to share that with the people that you love. Yeah. Our real goal with this whole thing is to help spread you know what we're doing because I'll tell you right now if you go down the same path that we are it's truly amazing and the places it'll take you and the things that you get to learn with your family um, together and building together as a family that's really what Devoted is all about.